The 2023 budget is a freeze on civil and public sector recruitment from next year. This has angered the leadership of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. Already, more than 10,000 nurses and midwives are yet to be recruited. According to the association, it has held numerous discussions with the Ministry of Health about the recruitment of unemployed nurses. With the announcement of the freeze on employment, President of the Association, Perpetual for Rampofo, is angry. Local communities in Ghana, um, these hard to reach areas, um, deprived areas, they all need um, some kind of uh, health care at any point in time. And we need the services of our nurses and midwives. So it's a great source of worry for us to hear overnight that um, there's going to be a freeze on employment. I only hope that it is not it does not cover the health sector. She encouraged nurses and those here to be employed to consider leaving the country to seek opportunities elsewhere. I should be trained as a professional to work. There's no work for me to do. My services are needed elsewhere and you want me to just sit down. How do I eat? How do I clothe myself? How do I take care of my, my dependents if indeed I have some? How do I do it? How do I transport myself back and forth from uh, any, anything that I have to do on a daily basis? It's difficult. Even those that are working are having challenges. How much more those who are at home are not working? Tina Mensa is a Deputy Minister of Health. The exodus of nurses and midwives to other developed countries for greener pastures at this time is very oblivious to us. We are hopeful that in the months and years ahead, the health sector will be in a better position to attract and retain our health professionals and curtail their migration. In another development, the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association has rolled out a book detailing salary negotiations for members.